If we look around us, we see everything is digital and has become a necessity in our lives. The telephone remains the greatest innovation in communication technology. The telephone history takes us from its invention, through its development, to the invention of the smartphone technologies that we use today. Because of the telephone, humans have become able to communicate information quickly and across the world. But who invented the telephone? Many think it's Alexander Graham Bell, but the actual inventor of the telephone is really someone else, namely the Italian Antonio Meucci. Antonio Meucci. Antonio Meucci was born in the year 1808 in Italy, near Florence. After studying design and mechanical engineering, he worked as a technician for various theatres. At the age of 27, he travelled to Cuba to work at a theatre there. Meucci loved all things scientific research and read everything he could find on the subject. Then he found a way to treat diseases with electric shocks. That became quite popular in Havana at the time. One day, as he was preparing to treat a friend, he heard his friend say something through a piece of copper that lay between them. He would never have been able to hear his friend's voice without the copper wire that ran between the devices. The inventor immediately noticed that what he held in his hands was more important than all the inventions he had made before. For 10 years, Antonio Meucci worked on the invention that we all now call a telephone. In 1850, he moved to New York to make his invention big, but his wife's paralysis, an explosion that injured him, and financial shortcomings in the years that followed meant that he never patented the telephone he invented. During his time in the hospital, his wife sold prototypes of his inventions to buyers, one of whom was Graham Bell. Patent. In 1871, 1872, and in 1873, Meucci tried to patent his invention, but he did not have enough money to purchase the patent. He also knocked on the door of the Western Union Company to raise an investment. In 1872, he sent his model of the telephone, including a description to the company. At that time, they had no time to organize a test. In 1974, Western Union reported that the model and description had been lost. In 1876, Alexander Graham Bell applied for a patent on what looked suspiciously like a telephone. Miyuchi found out about it and hired a lawyer to file a protest with the United States Patent Office. There too, the description of Miyuchi's patent had been lost. It later surfaced that employees of the Patent Office had given or sold the information about the phone to Bell. It also emerged that Western Union received a 20% profit distribution from Bell's company. Miucci started a lawsuit in 1886, which continued until his death. After Miucci's death, the case was dropped. He only received recognition for his work in 2002, and the US Congress has since been honoring his work in a law. How does the phone work? What happens when you call? Because you talk into the receiver, the phone converts your voice into an electric signal. This signal is sent through the telephone line to the person you are calling. In the device of the other, the electrical signal is converted back into sound that sounds almost the same as that of the speaker. All telephones are connected to a telephone exchange nearby. When you dial somebody's number, you send signals via the phone line to the exchange. In the past, you first got on the line with the dispatcher. They had a large switchboard in front of them with contacts and plugs. You literally put it through to the person you called. The first use of a dial phone was in 1892 in Laporte, Indiana, based on an 1891 patent by Alman Brown Stronger. In 1919, the American Bell Telephone Company began national service for user-controlled rotary dial phones. The standard form of the rotary dial is a disc three inches in diameter with 10 holes, numbered in one of four forms. One to nine and a zero, zero to nine, nine to zero, or zero then a nine to one. For each number, 
they gave a series of pulses, current pulses, whereby the exchange automatically established a connection with the person who called you. If you dialed a wrong number, you obviously got the wrong person on the phone. Each city or region had its own area code. The people in the city had a subscriber number. If you call today with a landline phone, it still works that way. After that, the push button phones came around. It was way easier to use. We still use this type of dialing. After you dial the number, you will now be connected via the exchange near the person you want to call. This is done via cables. But if you are in another country or overseas, your conversation will go through a communication satellite. A communication satellite is a kind of a large mirror in space that allows you to call the other side of the world. First, the conversation goes through the telephone line and then the switchboard to a large transmitter. A large transmitter on Earth sends the conversation to a satellite in space. If you call from the US, the call will be sent to the satellite via a US channel. If the call is sent to the satellite, the signal will be weaker, so the satellite amplifies the conversion and forwards it to another major transmitter. The telephone line can also be used for the internet or a fax, but if you use it for the internet, you cannot use it to make calls at the same time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do you want to know more about some history vintage things we use? Please hit that bell notification and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.